Hey, hi everyone. My name is Divesh Kubal, and I'm working as a data scientist. Today, I will give you a gentle introduction about speech-to-text system and its importance, and also hands-on experience, uh, hands-on implementation of speech-to-text by using Deep Speech. Uh, so, Deep Speech is a Mozilla's speech-to-text engine. Now, experts say that by 2020, businesses will automate their entire conversations uh, with their customers. According to statistics, companies lost up to thirty percent of the in, uh, incoming calls. So it is actually a huge number. The companies lost up to thirty percent of incoming calls just because their call center employees either missed the calls or they did not or they didn't have enough competence to communicate effectively with their customers. To quickly and efficiently process incoming requests or incoming costs or incoming call. Uh, modern businesses use chatbots conversational ai assistants or conversational artificial intelligence based assistants are replacing these standard chatbots and ivr based systems these systems are especially very much in demand among b2c type of companies they use websites and mobile apps to stay competitive convolutional neural networks or cnns or recurrent neural networks rnns or lstms that is long short term memory networks and other algorithms are trained to recognize human speech and automate call processing they help they help to keep in touch with their customers 24 by 7 and simplify the typical process uh, typical request processing task now as we all know that there is no doubt that in future call centers will become independent from operator qualification speech synthesis and speech recognition okay so note it down speech synthesis and speech recognition technologies will be a much reliable support for these kind of companies now why businesses should consider speech to text recognition speech to text rec- uh, this speech to text technologies they are already used in multiple mobile applications as you might know Uh, for example in amazon alexa or google now or app in or even in apple siri siri so a uh, smart voice system make apps more user friendly as it takes less time to speak rather than to type the en- entire uh, query so obviously this uh, smart voice system make apps more user friendly uh, as it takes less time to speak rather than typing the entire query uh for instance this speech to text technologies can be used in first uh, to automate the entire call processing uh, pipeline when customers want to get a certain type of consultation uh, place or cancel any order or participate in any kind of survey this speech to text uh, this speech to text engine can also provide uh, can also provide voice input in computer games and apps as well as voice controlled cars so in cars you might have uh, encountered some infotainment systems uh, who are ha- who are uh, uh, having these voice commands for uh, to complete various tasks then voice commands can also be used to transfer money here also speech to text helps a lot then speech to text allow people with disabilities to access various social services the speech to text recognition or speech to text engine can also help to support smart home system management uh, such as electronic robots and household device interfaces now these call centers have become ears of business like ears and not years so these system the so these call centers have become the ears of business that is ears to make this ears work automatically research and development engineers train various kinds of bots using machine learning now let's come to deep speech mozilla speech to text engine the machine learning team at mozilla mozilla continues work on their deep speech and which is an automatic speech recognition so we can term it as an asr that is asr asr stands for Automa- uh, automatic uh, automatic speech recognition engine which uh, it this aims to make speech recognition technology and train models open available to developers the deep speech is a deep learning based asr that is automatic speech recognition engine with a simple api 
they also provide pretend models for english models now so let's move uh, on towards uh, implementation of speech to text using deep speech uh, so we will be implementing the entire uh, uh, the entire uh, hands on or the entire deep speech in google collab so in this video i'll i'll only be showing you how to pre how to use the pre trained model and extract transcript or text from a given audio file so in order to input any audio file the audio file should be a wav file that is dot wav type of file uh, the audio file should have one channel uh, it should be a one channel and it it must have a sampling rate of 16 kilohertz or 16000 hertz okay so let's move down to implementation of deep speech so as we are seeing on this uh, screen uh, i have logged into my google drive and i have made a folder which is called as deep speech underscore implementation you can create any folder of your uh, of the name you prefer so what i can do here is i will create a, i will click on new i will click on more i will search for google collaboratory yeah i have got that i will just click on uh, google collaboratory or google collab it will redirect to a new uh, tab a fresh new tab uh, let's wait till it gets opened yeah now now we can write the actual code so uh, the aim of this implementation is to import all the is to download and import the trained models of the deep speech the current the current version and just uh, for our understanding upload a file or upload a audio file and get the text out of that in this the the aim of that the aim of this video is this okay so first i will run a wget command which will download that particular file from a url so the url i am typing now so i am specifying the version 0.7 uh which represents which represents the current uh, version or the latest version so we will be downloading two files first is deep speech hyphen 0.7.0 hyphen models dot pbmm and the second file is deep speech hyphen 0.7.0 hyphen models course uh, dot score scorer now why what does this pbmm stands for what is this kind of model and what is scorer file uh, i will be uh, telling this in much more details in the upcoming videos or in the uh, next uh, videos of this uh, tutorial So I'll just run this entire uh, cell block or the code block. It is connecting to the kernel. In the meantime, what I'll do is uh, I'll just uh, rename this Python notebook. So I I'll rename it as Deep Speech Implementation Pre-trained Models. Oh yeah, as you can see on the screen, it is now downloading uh, the second file scorer. But yeah, it has uh, downloaded the PBMM file, one eighty MB, one eighty point one six MB. I'll just highlight it. So this is the PBMM file, and this is the scorer file. The scorer file is of nine hundred and nine point two MB. Okay, if you want to see. uh where this files have been so you can click on the left hand side in the left hand side you can have this files if you click on this files you will see something like uh, deep speech hyphen dot dot models dot pbmm 
and also the scorer file okay now we have successfully downloaded the two files now in order to uh, run the deep speech inference or the prediction first we will need the deep speech uh, deep speech package or the library so i'll just install that library in order to install it pip install deep speech now if if you if you are connected with your uh, gpu or if you, if your system has gpu then you can even type pip install deep speech hyphen gpu so gpu also this also supports gpu if you are connected with it okay now let's move to actual inference phase or actual prediction phase the command is as follows deep speech space we need to specify the model our model is pb pbmm file uh, deep speech yeah it is giving me some recommendations uh, now i will give the scorer file again i will wait for the recommendations to come up yeah then i will specify the audio file which i want to uh, predict or the audio file which from which i want to extract text i will upload this by clicking the upload button i will search for that file here sample1.wav i will click on okay and as you are seeing on the left hand side the sample.1 sample1.wav appears in that uh, list so i will give here oh i'll give here space uh, hyphen audio uh, the name of that audio file the name of the audio file is sample1 so sample1 dot wav uh, i think this might work so let's uh, uh, let's execute this cell block now it will first load all the two models it has loaded successfully this two model the first one is pbmm the second one is uh, scorer model now uh, after running inference or get uh, or after running the prediction score the prediction is this one so this file is nothing but uh, someone is speaking in this file his wife now lies besides him and the light shaft that marks their graves gleams across the wheat fields so this is what we uh, the text is extracted from that file if you want to upload your audio file and check how it is working you can do it that as well but remember that the file should be of one channel and the sampling rate of that uh, particular audio file should be 16 kilohertz okay or else it it might throw an ex exception so that's it with that's it guys with this uh, uh, video how to use pre trained model of deep speech and to readily use this model in order to get or extract text from a particular audio file uh, in the next session what i'll do is uh, if, if you are uh, If if you want me to upload uh, some videos related to the entire architecture of deep speech, as well as what all parameters are important in deep speech model, what are the various parameters and their effects in a deep speech model, also is RNN uh, more important or CNN more important in this speech to text tasks and so on. So if you want uh, me to upload all these videos, please uh, like, share, subscribe, comment on this video. So thanks a lot guys we'll meet uh next time thank you